And that's the people who are aware. 93%, 55% is in your voice, in, in your body language, and 38% in your voice. Now, if it's not verbal, it's mostly unconscious. You're not paying attention to this body language. So even if you, like say for instance, if I looked at you and just smiled and said to you, I hate you, would you believe me? No, because my body language is the exact opposite of my words. My words are only 7%. But my body language said something else. The overwhelming majority of my communication was nonverbal and therefore unconscious. How about this? I love you. <laughs> You still don't believe me. Why? Because the body language and the voice and everything just didn't match. It was not congruent. So in the same way, your unconscious mind picks up all information. People, let me tell you something. And this is a caveat. It's a warning to, your, to you living your lives with your spouses that you may not like so much. I don't say dislike. I said may not like so much, as much as you should. Uh, and your children, or your uncles, or your aunts, or your grandfathers, or grandmothers, or whatever people, as they walk by, you go, yes, yes, uh -huh. you know, you have that deadly smile, I would, uh, wish, how come you're not dead yet, you know, like that smile. <laughs> and then you smile, that is picked up at some level, at an unconscious level, especially if people are sedated, and in an operating theater, or whatever, they hear everything, now wait a minute, if they hear everything, what is the thing that hears everything? What is the being that hears everything? That consciousness is your unconsciousness, paying attention to some things more consciously than you realize. What does that mean? What are the implications? You, someone walks and you say, hi, how are you? And it goes, they see that from the back of the head. They sense that, know that took place. If you say something bad about someone and they're on the other side of the room, they don't need to hear it. They feel it in the ether. It is there. They know. People who are more aware know more than others. That's just a, a, a condition of awareness. Your unconscious mind is so powerful, it picks up all the people's secondary expressions. Like right now, James is yawning. That's a normal expression for about this time because he had heavy schedule last night, you know. Uh, with activities. That was enjoyable, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Jeez. I'm talking about accounting. <laughs> with number. See, the thing is, you don't pay attention to that, that sometimes even through the yawning, if somebody yawns through your talk or whatever, it doesn't mean a sign of disrespect. But again, you know what Wiling was talking about. It, you interpret it the way you want. It's just like somebody driving by in a car and giving you the finger, like that. How would you want to interpret that? You're number one, you're number one. Thank you, thank you. They don't know what to do. You know what I mean? If they go by and they put up their hand, what do you normally do? You send your x-ray vision like Superman. Do you? How many people here have x-ray vision? When you send it, the person crosses, uh, what do you call it, overtakes you, Da, 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 and then you, you know, and then slows down right in front of you. Don't you hate that? They, they, they overtook and they should go fast. That's the unwritten law in your law book, isn't it? And so as a result, they go slow and, and so you go by, you overtake and you look at them and you send this x-ray vision to them. Do you need, do you need, <laughs> and you send it out. Do you practice? How many people practice that? I've seen other people practice that. I want you to carry a mirror about Oh yeah, about a, about this big. Carry a mirror about this big next time. Put it on the dashboard so that when you're driving by and somebody's doing that, <laughs> show the mirror, da, 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 and they'll wonder what the hell you just said. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll follow you. <laughs> Look, it doesn't just happen in Singapore. It ha misinterpretation of motives happens all the time. So if you're going to misinterpret, why not do it in a positive way? I mean, I see the, you know, you selling me the hydrotherapy thing as a, you know, a way to make a, a sexual gesture. <laughs> because this year, that's the first time it's ever happened to me. And it, again, boosts my ego. I don't see.
lead the way she intends it to be, which is no, Mel, you're in a very unhealthy state, and really the hydrotherapy will bubble away, and hopefully you will cook until you are okay. <laughs> I don't want to see it like that. I want to see it. Oh, man, I, somebody finds me attractive. Oh. I am just kidding, but you know, you know what I mean. It's how you interpret the world around you. Your energy is felt. If you like people, it's going to show. They unconsciously are going to pick up your 93% body language. Do you love what you do or not? It's going to show to your customers. It's going to show to the people you serve. Whether you're in customer service in a hospital, or customer service at the airport, or customer service in whatever, Starhub, or M1, or help me here, something. <laughs> what about the places that have customer service? Huh? Or DMG.